got to watch this video, muttraker.com video. We found Biden-Harris administration's missing children first. Play it for me, Ness. They have all of the kids wearing masks, and they have them keeping their head down. They're telling them to hide their face. Many of these kids go missing. I've even had a little friend. I can't remember her name, but she said she didn't know where she would go. And MPM is an organization that has moved out. I do not work for you. You do not work for MPM? I'm on vacation. You said, you said that you were on vacation, and now you're moving this small child to the airport. I thought you were on vacation. Do you have any comment about the children that have gone missing that you've helped to escort across the country? Two children were delivered to a sponsor that lives at this address. But as you can see, nobody lives here. And honestly, it doesn't look like anybody's lived here in quite a long time. There's kids in the car here. They're moving these kids. They just turn the lights off. We owe a debt of 10,000 for me and another 10,000 for my brother. That van that we just confronted, they are now taking off. We are following them. This van is now trying to lose us. They're driving through this neighborhood that's headed absolutely nowhere. Are a lot of the, the kids coming over here, are they, are they trafficked or like, what's the... Some are, I'm not gonna lie, some are. She cried because she didn't know what they would do with her. We went to sleep, and in the morning, when I got up, she was gone. Since 2021, an average of 400 unaccompanied children are smuggled into the United States every day. These children, who cross into the United States without parents, are subsequently detained, processed by the federal government's unaccompanied children program, and eventually released into the country. On August 19th, 2024, the Department of Homeland Security announced that they had lost track of over 300,000 of these children. In June of 2024, a government insider from the Department of Health and Human Services provided Muckraker with a list detailing the names of over 8,000 alien children, along with their last known addresses. So, we began an operation to find the missing children ourselves. Over the course of our investigation, we discovered the dangerous places where children had been delivered, confronted a CIA contractor who moves these children, heard shocking stories from children who the federal government has lost track of, and exposed a child trafficking network in Florida. This report brings to light the fate of the forgotten children who have fallen victim to the criminal negligence of the United States federal government. Children who enter the United States illegally and without parents are subsequently detained and placed in holding camps, while the Office of Refugee Resettlement works to find the child a permanent home through their unaccompanied children program. The largest child sex trafficking cartel on the planet is the Biden administration, where they send billions and tens of billions. Look at this. These are the NGOs, Catholic Charities, Jewish Charities in the Darien Gap. That one there in Texas, that's a processing center. There's many down in the Darien Gap to keep everybody happy and healthy like cattle so that they can be sex trafficked into the United States of America. Listen, can you imagine, and of course it doesn't, you know, muckraker exposes, so you don't need to imagine it, but can you actually imagine, or can you, I mean, can you conceptually uh, think about that, the, that we have our own government walking around airports having kids hide their faces and loading them in vans? Why isn't it all out in the open? What, what's there to hide? I mean, if this is some glorious thing, why, why, why is it clandestine? Why are these kids walking around as if they're criminals? And the people that are, tra that are transporting them, i.e. trafficking them, why are they acting like criminals? I mean, look at this. This is the United States of America. Why, is, why are any of these people coming across our border anyway when we already allow in one to four million legal immigrants per year? No, Tom, it's one million. No, it's chain migration. So for every one, there's at least two and up to eight. So chain migration, we allow in four million per year anyway, legally. And am I in favor of that? No, I'm not in favor of chain migration. But those people are going through the legal processes. So I don't have a problem with them. We need to change the laws, not allow chain migration. But other than that, but look at our country. Do we not look like we're like we're not, you know, Nazi Germany with, with concentration camps? 325,000 of those kids. So you have muckrakers showing how clandestine these operations are, how suspicious these operations are, how dark these operations are, with many testimonies. Go to muckraker and watch that entire video. You want to talk about dark, nasty, 
criminal activity, go watch that entire video.